This is adeno-associated virus, also known as AAV. It is a biological nanoparticle that is made of a protein shell and one molecule of single-stranded DNA. In wild-type AAV, the DNA carries a set of genes that are used for viral replication and production of protein capsid. In recombinant AAV used in gene therapy, all viral genes are removed and replaced with therapeutic payload. The only AAV DNA component that is left in recombinant AAV are inverted terminal repeats that are required for genome replication and packaging during vector production. Recombinant AAV enters its target cell by endocytosis. The viral particle interacts with cell surface receptors, enters the cell wrapped in cell membrane, and then escapes the endosome and ends up in the cytoplasm. Small proportion of AAV particles pass through nuclear pores and enter the nucleus. Only inside the nucleus the viral shell comes apart and the DNA is released. The final step in AAV journey is formation of episomes. The single-stranded DNA is converted into double-stranded DNA. Double-stranded DNA locks onto itself or with several other recombinant AAV DNA molecules to form a stable episomal DNA molecule. In non-dividing cells, the episomal AAV can persist for years, driving gene production and providing cure for a genetic condition. So far, there are three AAV-based gene therapies that pass through regulatory process and made it to the market. They are Glybera, Luxterna, and Zolgensma. There are five more that are going through phase three clinical trials and that are likely to become available in the near future. If you want to learn more about AAV-based gene therapy, please visit Bio501 website to read the full article.